Hey, this is Steve Halleck of TikToking. As always, you can find me at Steve Halleck on Instagram and uh, at TikToking.com. Please hit subscribe to the channel, trying to kind of boost the numbers here, do some fun stuff so I can do more and more videos for you guys. Um, I'm gonna do more of these how-to videos and more uh, kind of video podcast format. I got really good feedback on it and it's easy for me to do, so why not? So today I wanna talk about demagnetizing a watch. This is my number one go-to uh, kind of troubleshooting step. Watches can get magnetized very easily. The tiny little parts, uh, especially the escapement parts and the balance wheel, can pick up uh, magnetism from all the magnetic fields in our environment. And there's just more and more and more of these now um, because you've got all these electronic equipment, uh, you know, computers and stereos and uh, Wi-Fi everywhere. And uh, then, of, you know, even your refrigerator is connected via Wi-Fi now. And then, of course, you've got security at airports and uh, all these security and x-rays and things that they use uh, in shipping and stuff like that. And so watches are more and more and more getting magnetized and it obviously creates problems. So basically a little piece picks up some magnetism and then it's, it's almost like it's uh, sticking. So it makes it either speed up or slow down or sometimes completely stop uh, and just act erratic. Uh, and it can, happen, it can happen overnight. I've had watches somehow get magnetized in my safe uh, that I didn't even touch. So uh, the first thing I do anytime a watch is acting weirdly is try to demagnetize it. And the beauty is a demagnetizer, you can pick it up on Amazon. This is the one I use. It's this blue thing with a red button. There's not even a brand name. It's like made in China. And um, you know, they're 10, they're like 10 or $12. If you're paying more than that, you're getting ripped off and they're, you don't get anything from buying a more expensive one. It just demagnetizes anyway. So uh, buy this one and the whole thing takes 20 seconds and you can't hurt the watch with it. And uh, so why not do it and see if it fixes any problems before you send it off to Switzerland and it goes into the black hole of Swiss watch company service. So now I'm gonna show you my procedure for demagnetizing a watch, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna use uh, this, which is my Seiko Potty Diver that actually is in my personal collection and I kind of wear, it's my, my beater. It's a really cool watch actually. Um, but it doesn't have to be a cheap, watch, like I've used this $10 demagnetizer on Grubel Forces before. Um, so, you know, you really can't, you can't hurt the watch by demagnetizing it. You may as well just try it. And sometimes you, you can even do it two or three times if, uh, if it seems like it's helping, but isn't totally fixed or, you know, or whatever, you just wanna throw a Hail Mary because you don't wanna send your watch in for service, okay? So here, let me show you how to do this. I'm gonna see if I can move the camera down what happened okay let's do it like that okay so I've got the demagnetizer here it's plugged in um, you can do either this way or this way uh, I don't think it really matters uh, this because it's on a bracelet it's easier to do it crystal down so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the button and I'm gonna count to ten ten nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now while still holding the button, I'm gonna slowly pull the watch away and I'm gonna go for about another 10 seconds to get it a couple feet away. I just went out of frame, but I'm still pulling it up slowly. And that's gonna slowly get it out of this anti-magnetic field. And then once it's a couple feet away after, you know, slowly 10 seconds or so, I just, um, you know, release the button and you're done. So that is, that's it. It's as simple as that. Uh, and you've now demagnetized the watch and hopefully it's working and you don't have to send your watch to service and, you know, for $12 and 20 seconds, you've got a working Gerbil 4C. You just saved yourself 10 grand, uh, you know. So. That is how to demagnetize a watch. I'm telling you guys, if you, if you own mechanical watches, you should have a demagnetizer. It's, there's no reason not to. They're super cheap, they're super easy to use, and you're not gonna screw something up. Uh, you're, not, you're not gonna like regret doing it because your watch then gets 
broken and you have to send it for service, especially if the watch is broken anyway, what, what do you have to lose? So that's my tip for the day. That's how to do it. Uh, I've even bought these four people, you know, if, if I've sent out a watch and it arrives, um, something that seems like it's magnetized or whatever, I'll just like uh, Amazon the guy over, uh, one of these and he'll have it the next day or even that day and, uh, tell him this. So I've typed this procedure too many times and now here it is in video and I'm going to send people this video from now on. So hope you guys enjoyed as always at Steve Halleck on Instagram tiktoking.com and please hit subscribe here on the YouTube channel because I'm going to make more stuff like this and then of course keep going with uh, you know badass watches. I've got amazing inventory right now. I'm going to do some cool video reviews coming up so stay tuned. Thanks.